Are you a parent or guardian looking for a way to help your kid explore technology safely while keeping an eye on their online activities, like managing screen time, setting app limits, and monitoring activities? So make sure to watch this video to the end as I'll be showing you how to set up and use Google Family Link. Now, the first step, I'm going to show you how to add a device. So we're going to be adding this device onto the parent's device. Now go to Play Store or your App Store on your iOS device. And in the App Store, in the search section, you want to search for Google Family Link. Search for this and you see the Google Family Link application. Now tap on this and install the application onto your device. Once installed, tap on Open. On the welcome screen, if you have multiple Google accounts as a parent, you can tap on the drop down in this section. Now tap on the account you prefer to sign in into and tap on continue. So if you're using Chrome or PC, you want to go ahead and sign in into your Google account or your Chrome browser or any browser you have installed on your PC. In the search section, you want to search for Google Family Link. Now if you see the Google Families, click on the first URL in this section and you'll be able to sign in into your Google Family Link account. Now, after signing into your Google Family Link account, you want to tap in this section, Add Child. Does your child have a Google account? If your child doesn't have a Google account, you can tap on No to start creating a new Google account. But if you have already created a Google account for your child, you can tap on Yes. And this is the settings you need to follow on the child's device. Just go to the child's device and follow through by opening settings on the child's device. Once opened, you want to scroll till you find Google. If you do not find Google, you can come to the search settings and type Google in this section. Now tap on Google to open Google. Now if you are met with recommended and all service, simply tap on all services and then scroll all the way to the bottom and find parental control. Tap on parental control. Now to complete adding a device, parents need to finish the next few steps. The child needs to also stick around to learn how parental control works. Tap on next and enter the parent or guardian account email. Tap on next. And enter the account's password. Tap on next again. Sign in to your Google account. And here are some of the details you manage. Manage account settings and control. Block or approve app. Control location settings. Limit screen time. Set filter and control on Google Chrome. Search play and YouTube. Manage your family group. Parents will not be able to monitor a child's screen. Parents can see their child's past search or Chrome browsing history. They will not be able to see or reset their child's account password. Parents will not be able to read their child's email or messages. Parents will not be able to listen to their child's phone call. Parents can't change the screen lock password on their child's device. Parents can't erase their child's device or data. You'll be able to also remove supervision. Scroll all the way to the bottom and your child needs to enter their email password to enable supervision. Once password is entered, tap on next. Tap on next to install the family link parental control on the device. And scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on activate this device admin app. As a parent, you'll be able to customize these sections in this section. When you tap on the drop down in this section, you'll be able to add customizations such as app and games. Tap on the drop down in this section and you'll be able to specify the age specification for apps, book. Choose whether to filter mature sites on Google Chrome and filter on Google Search. You can customize in this section and tap on next. Tap on done. And parental control will be set up on the child's device. Now you can minimize and on your Google Family link, simply tap on done. And the child's device will be added to your Google Family link. Now once the Google Family link account is set up, this is how you can use the Google Family link. First, I'm going to be showing you how to lock and unlock your child's device. Now this is quite easy. On your parent's account, you can simply tap on the lock in this section. And your child's account will immediately be put on a break. Now to unlock, you can unlock in this section and you can unlock with the parent access. If you choose to unlock with the parent access, you can tap on the parent access and you'll be able to enter your Google account password. And if you do not have your Google account password, tap on try another way and you'll be able to enter the parent access code. Now on your device, you want to tap on the three horizontal line at the top left corner of your screen. Yeah. And in this section, you're going to see parent access code. Tap on parent access code and you'll be able to copy the parent access code in this section. Simply enter the parent access code and the child's device will immediately be unlocked. So even if your child's device is offline, you'll still be able to use the parent access code. Now, if you want to set up screen time and app restriction, this is how you can go about it. There's the daily limit, the downtime, and then when you scroll a little under this, you see app limits. Now, when you choose to set daily limits, this is the amount of hours you're allowed to use the device during the day. When the downtime is the time the device is locked at night. Now, to set daily limits, simply tap on setup on daily limits. 
and you can customize in this section the days that you want this to be applicable you can also select all days in this section if you want it to be all days and you can also tap on each one of them to choose which days you want to set daily limits on tap on done once you have selected and specify how long you want your daily limit to be you can also add in this section schedule which allows you to add other days where you can customize daily limits for other days such as saturdays and sundays when they are not going to school tap on done and it will be added once you made all customization tap on done and this will start counting immediately to set the downtime tap on setup on downtime and you'll be able to customize to your desire in this section so you can decide when device gets locked at night by default it is 9 pm to 7 am simply tap here to customize which days you want this to be applicable and if you want it all days you can add it in this section on holidays when they are free if you choose to add more schedule you can simply come to this section and add more schedule and tap and customize however you want tap on done when you're done and all updates you made will be also indicated on the child's device for app restriction and limitation tap on app limits you'll be able to see their daily and average usage of a specific app and which app they use frequently this will also list all the apps that are available on your device on any app you do not want them to use you can simply tap on the app and you see block in this section tap on block and tap on done and the app will automatically be removed from their device you can also do other things when you tap on the app such as set limit and always allow to use if you want to give them access back to any application that has been blocked simply tap on the app and then tap on block tap on done and the application will be restored on your device now if you scroll down you have other access to content restriction now if you want to restrict the kind of content that your child are allowed to see online simply tap on content restriction tap on the app you would prefer and toggle on, on content restriction now the restriction mode can help you hide videos with potentially mature content that you don't want your child to see so you can turn this on for any of these applications under account settings you'll be able to manage the account settings on your device such as view the account information for your google account account supervision if you like to stop supervision and more control for signing in which will force them to ask you every time they choose to sign in or let them to sign in without you control for third party app allows you to choose if you want your child to install external app location settings which allows you to see your child's location and manage device location accuracy so you'll be able to manage this under the account settings to locate your child's device tap on location and you'll be able to find your child's device location on the map tap on family places if you'd like to add places such as school home and you can also add addresses of other places you'd want to add with the devices you'll be able to see all devices that your child is signing into with their google account now when you tap on device you'll be able to unlock play sound if the device is missing set screen time choose lock screen settings manage app permissions which allows you to choose which permission application can have access to so you can choose only as a parent or your child and you can supervise add or remove users google family link account from unknown sources which allows them to install app from unknown sources the developer option which allows them to enable developer settings and edit time and date on their device now if you want to remove parental control simply tap on account settings and here you're going to see account supervision tap on account supervision scroll down Tap on I understand and tap on stop supervision. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up and use Google Family Link. And I hope you found this video helpful. Do make sure to like, subscribe and have the post notification turned on.